Scheduling Transactions Scheduling transactions is one of the best features of Quicken. It can help prevent you from forgetting to pay bills and even pay your bills for you. You can set up all of your transactions in advance, even if you don't know the exact amounts. By setting up your transactions in advance, you have a better idea of your present and future cash position. You can then edit transactions as necessary. You can enable reminders based on how often you use Quicken. If you use Quicken once a week, set your reminder for nine or so days in advance. When scheduling payments, it is easiest to integrate the payments with the check printing or online payments feature so Quicken can pay the bills for you. If you're scheduling transactions, don't forget to record them in Quicken. Using the Paycheck Setup feature of Quicken to track your gross pay and deductions will help you to both plan on how much cash inflow you will have as well as use Quicken's tax planning and reporting features. Although there are many ways of scheduling transactions, there are two main ways to do so. We covered the Quicken guided setup in a previous chapter. Here we will discuss how to create scheduled transactions with the scheduled transaction list. Banking reminders are available in several different areas of Quicken, but they all share the same format. There are three options under the action header. You have the choice to enter, edit, or skip the item. Choosing to enter the item will enter the transaction with limited editing ability. Choosing to edit the item will edit the transaction, while choosing to skip the item will not enter the transaction at this time. For now, we will select Edit. To change the settings for all future transactions, select the This and All Future Reminders menu item. Here, you will enter the payee and information about the payment amount. Here, you can select when to start recording the transaction and you can set reminders or automate the entry. Here you can select how often the transaction is repeated and set an end date. Here we can enter an information about the payment. Here, you can select how the transaction will be made. In the payment information, we will select the account information associated with the transaction. In this case, we are making a payment and we will need to select which account to use for the payment the method of payment, the amount of the payment, and we can select the website of the other party. If you would like to use Quicken to print a check, you can select Printed Check, otherwise select Payment to simply record the transaction. Click OK when you have finished setting up your transaction. We will now enter the transaction. You have some power to edit the transaction here although you do not have the power to edit the transaction schedule from the screen. You can edit any of the payment information before you record the transaction. This is why you do not need to be exact when setting up transactions. Click Enter Transaction to record the transaction. Add Bills or Deposits Clicking Add Reminder will allow you to set up bill, income, or paycheck reminders. Select the type of reminders you want to schedule. We will select Add Bill Reminder. Here, we will set up our payee, payment, and scheduling information. Note that the scheduling information by default starts the day you set up the transaction and repeats monthly on the same day. This information can be edited when you set up the transaction. Click Address to add address information. Enter in the payee information. Enter in the payment information. Select the appropriate category from the track spending. Select the due date and how often to pay the bill. Here we will schedule the transaction to automatically enter on the scheduled day. Select Change Reminder Options. Select the Automatically Enter the Transaction and Register so that you don't need to manually approve the entry. Click OK when finished. We will show you how to set up reminders in the cash flow transaction. Clicking Add Transaction in the Inbox will add an income transaction. Clicking Add Transaction in the Outbox will add an expense transaction. 
This window allows you to select whether you would like to schedule a transaction now or simply enter it. One-time transactions. Select Remind Me to schedule or Enter Now to enter it. Enter in the transaction information as we did with previous transactions. Click OK when finished.